Yeah. But one thing I think we need to remember is that our time is not God's time. And we may ask for these miracles and these changes in people's lives, and it may take years. And I'm here to testify in my family the miracles that have happened. But it certainly took many, many years. It didn't happen overnight. So when we're at, you know, you've kind of brought in another element I think we should unpack. You said specifically asking for miracles in someone else's life. Now you have another individuality at, at play here. Another, and he says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone opens the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. This is metaphorical for the door to what? <laughs> to the heart. So you're praying for miraculous transformation of the heart of a loved one. And so when you're praying for that, I believe that God's agencies are going and knocking on those doors. But will your prayers ever cause God to bust those doors open? No. no. So it may, may take a long time, not because God didn't go in that very moment. Remember, and I, we, have, we have biblical evidence for this. Daniel begins praying for the, for the, uh, the, the king to be impressed, to, to fulfill the prophecy and let the people go. It was 21 days later, Gabriel approaches him and comes and says, as soon as he began praying, at that moment I was sent. But the prince of Persia was opposing me. And, and the prince of Persia, if you remember, Satan is called the prince of this world. So the prince of Persia is an underling to Satan. It's one of Satan's angels. And that angel's opposing Gabriel. And it says, and Gabriel says, only Michael, your prince, was able to help me. Now, if we believe the scripture and, and that when Lucifer rebelled, one third of the angels were taken, that means two thirds were left in heaven. How come Gabriel only has one other being that can help him if, if, we out, if the good angels outnumber the bad angels two to one. Why is that the I only have one other person to help me, Gabriel. Uh, that's Michael, your, your prince. Because this is not a battle of might and power. This is a battle for hearts and minds. And the evil angels were trying to, in, in, in the evil angel, the prince of Persia was trying to inflame selfishness, fear. Don't let those people go. They might rise up against you. Fear, don't, don't set them free. Try, trying, to, trying to boil those motives up in, in the king's heart, the king of Persia's heart. And Gabriel is there, and Gabriel's a mediator of what? Truth and love. Now, Gabriel took the position that Lucifer fell from. So in God's universe, at that time in, in universal history, who was closer to God and knew more of God's character, truth, methods, and principles of the created beings than Gabriel? No, no other created being. Gabriel knew that he was most intimate. That's why he's at that position. He's the closest to God now. The only person who could bring more truth and more love, the only being was the son of God himself, Michael, your prince. And so God's son comes to add depth and clarity and truth and, and perspective that Gabriel himself couldn't even understand yet. And the day was won and the king let the people go. It's brilliant when you see all this. And so we have this evidence that prayer, immediately when you pray, so there's a delay, God's agencies are being dispatched and working. But there's a human heart involved. And that human heart has to make a decision. And that human heart's being impacted by evil forces as well. And so as you say, maybe, maybe decades, maybe sometimes before you see the, the, the choice or sometimes the choice even with God's intervention. Did God intervene for Judas? Did Jesus personally intervene for Judas and try to reach him and even wash his feet? And put, and, and, but Judas hardened against it. So even with those interventions of the Holy Spirit and God and the angels and so forth working on it, it doesn't mean that people will choose to open their heart. So when it comes to those types of miracles in the heart, we keep praying, God keeps working, but not everyone will choose to, to, to follow the, the, the calling of the Holy Spirit and the work of God. So I wasn't really thinking of those type of miracles here. I was thinking of the other types of miracles. Like there is a message, there is an opportunity to take a message into a certain place and there's an obstacle in the way. And, and if that obstacle is removed, you will have the opportunity to give this witness that you pray and God will do this for you. I will tell you, I think we experienced this last year when this ministry had the chance and we took the opportunity and had a booth at the general conference and gave away 40,000 DVDs and books and everything else to the whole world church. At that, do you understand? It was a miracle that we were, we were allowed to be there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we prayed that God would open that for the purpose of sending this message. And we have had all over the world now people are coming to this way of seeing God. So I think those types, he does right, right there. But other types of the actual conversion, it really does require, but he's working. Is that, is that everybody with me on that? Yeah, okay.